tasters. How are you guys doing today? So guys, let me tell you what we're eating today. We're eating my garlic parmesan chive mashed potatoes. We're eating my green chili turkey Salisbury steak with tomato gravy. And we're having some corn on the cob. Also guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm eating some butter lettuce on the side. We have a strawberry daiquiri, you guys at the bottom with a little bit of kombucha on the top. This is the actual kombucha that I'm drinking today, guys. This is ginger lemon, and it's actually really good. My normal suspect, water with pineapple. I love the way water pineapple makes my excuse me, my water taste. So guys, I'm gonna say grace and I'm just gonna dig in. Amen. So we so guys, let me just start by saying let me take a bite first or two. Mmm. Ah, this is so tender. It literally melts in your mouth. This turkey, you have to go check out this recipe for these. Guys, when you use, in the recipe, I use crackers, milk, oil. When you use that, this just melts in your mouth. That's how I can tell you. But, So guys, as you can see, <clears throat> I've been working on my lighting. I'm getting a little better. Not quite there yet, but I promise I'm going to get that. You guys, my light is a little different today. Normally my overhead lighting is on. And when my overhead lighting is on, it's like really super bright. But when I put the overhead lighting on, it, you couldn't see my potatoes, you couldn't see my corn. So I was like, okay, I got to do some adjusting. So I had to go pull some lighting from another place to put it on this side of me and then light it on this side. So the lighting actually is pretty good as I'm looking at it. I kind of like it like this. Um, but I, I'm still trying to master the lighting, you guys, so don't, don't, um, persecute me. <laughs> I'm not quite there yet, but I'm trying to get there. Mmm. That's going to good. You guys. With the salad stick, I make them little. Mm. I'm gonna put a link in the description below. I'll make both of these recipes. A link to Sular Grill once again. I mean to Sular Spice Shop. Guys, I like kombucha, but to be honest with you, I always mix it with something um, because by itself, even when I try to get the certain ones, it's just too strong for me. But um, anyway, guys, so I don't know how much salt I'm going to be doing. This is good. And truthfully, it looks like a lot more food than it is. Because it's a little. But I want you to see how tender this is, guys. This is just... You know, turkey can be dry and bland if you don't do it the right way. It really can. But let me tell you this. 
Try to hit it where it doesn't fall apart. See that moist juiciness in there? And even though it has the real green chili in there, it has a little spice, but it's not like overpowering. Now, let me say this. If you want to make this dish, and you want it to have that super spice, then you need to add the whole can of green chili. I only added a tablespoon. Just give me that kick in the back of my throat. But if you want the real spice, like, woo! Then you should probably really add the whole can of green chili. So, guys. I don't know what day this is going up. I don't know why, but I have just fell in love with butter lettuce. I don't know why. It's subtle. It's easy on my digestion. I like this. And I don't have to do a whole lot to it. Butter is by right itself. just, it's good. And it tastes really good when you eat it with this salsa face. So guys, I've had a busy week. A lot was going on, but it was a good week. Like a really good week. Um, that's about all that done. I have a lot of stuff done. Um, so guys, I'm working on my cookbook, which is it's Tasty LB 2018 Recipes Volume 1. I finally, finally, finally finished the play, guys. That was another whole journey right there. But I finally finished part one. So now I can go into part two. Hmm. I did an event called Write on Writers. It was on September the 17th. And we literally wrote all day long. We had class. It was like class all day long. Um, with my apostle John, Javon Bolden. Um, Sophia Ruffin, and, I don't know, I can't specifically remember her name, but I'm about to tell you, because I'm looking it up, um, I'm going to tell you her name, Her name is, was, is Jamie Robaugh. I think I said that wrong. R-O-H-R-B-A-U-G-H. And when I tell you that Write On Writers class was right on point, it like got me out of that spot wherever I was of not being able to finish writing. So it was very, it was very needed. It, it, and it literally only cost 20 bucks, you guys. So... I took advantage of that. I'm not, you know, I've never, I believe that you're never a master. Even when you are a master at something, you can always learn something else. 
That's how I feel about it. So, I learned a lot. That probably was one of the, one of, not the most, but one of the most important things that took part in this year. It was in the top ten. Like, literally. So, now, I'm finishing up a little like this. That book's supposed to been dropped a long time ago. And I dropped the ball on that book because I got busy doing all this other stuff. I really did. See, sometimes you just got to be honest, and that's the honesty of it. I dropped the ball because I started doing a whole bunch of other things. So, that's amazing. I almost got a lot of that done. But, yeah. Now I know something else. What else news on? Um, We come to the end of the year, guys, so make sure you finish strong. Health wise. Speaking of that, I went to my Asian store, you guys, and I bought this tea. And I kept looking at the tea, and I was like, I think I had this tea before, and I think it did something to me, and it wasn't a good thing. But I was just like, I want this tea, and I'm getting it. So I got three boxes. Let me point that out. Love the tea. When I drank the tea one time, the first time, and I literally ended up in knots. Like, I was in so much pain. I was like, but I thought it was something else going on. Because I had another situation going on. So, I thought it was just that. I'm like, oh, it was just me having whatever, doing whatever, whatever, whatever. But, no. So I drank the tea again, like four days later, but I, I read the box and it said, only steep it for two minutes. So I steeped it for less than two minutes. Nope. It messed me up again. So I realized I got all this tea. Now I got to go back to the Asian market, take this tea back. Plus, I wasn't just having like, oh, I'm a little bit hurt. I was literally you out in pain. Like, in the bathroom, in excruciating pain. So, they said it was an ingredient in the tea. Let me give it a S. I forgot what it was. And they were like, if you find yourself having excessive, you know, whatever, bathroom situations, or if you, um, Find yourself balled up with pain. Don't take it anymore. So, or don't drink anymore. And I was like, man, but it, when I tell you guys it tastes so good, it tastes so good. Now, this nice potato sauce pretty good. So, I did the right on writer's class this week. Last weekend, you guys, was a great weekend. I think it was a weekend of the, like, 13th or whatever. You guys, last weekend was epic. St. Louis showed out. We had something called um, the Black Festival 2019. And it was food trucks everywhere. It was just, I'm talking about, it was, it was basically almost like a food truck gala. It was other stuff out there too, but it was mostly mostly people doing food, and it was like a big family reunion. Guys, it was so amazing, literally. It was like family reunion. No, it was like older people, all the way down to babies. <laughs> So next year, I'm thinking about when I go next year, I'm 
my goodness, I want to be a, be a vendor. <clears throat> but I do not think I'll have a food trunk here. Here. I'm trying to do this. Um, but I'm going to be in Florida too, so. It's all another story. I think I'm gonna finish these mashed potatoes, guys. <clears throat> I finish off this South Baby steak right here, and I think I'm done. Mmm. Hot. I can feel these little ones. Probably it goes to one big one. Huh. Oh, it tastes good. But well, I think I'm about done. <laughs> I think I have finished this off. I only have one, two, three, four, five pieces of lettuce left in here. I really want to eat all of this too. I'm going to finish this lettuce and then I'm done. I feel like Roger Rabbit. I feel like some time. That was almost a catastrophe. <laughs> I'm packing up my trash. Okay, guys, I really am finished. Okay, guys, maybe not. <laughs> it's almost like when I adjust it in the chair, my body adjusts it. My stomach adjusts it. Well, I thought I was full, but... Maybe it's the way I was sitting in the chair. I will tell you that this was really good. 
That's why I, have, I do have a little bit of room left for these. Well. So I did finish you guys my last piece of turkey calibrated steak and my mashed potatoes. Hmm. That's so good when you're eating this and then you just that little child pop through your mouth. Guys, now I need to go find a bed. Okay, good people. Good meal. Whew. Mashed potatoes. Salisbury steak. Corn on the top. And my green was butter lettuce. Most of the time, um, when you make a dish like this, you would probably do a green or a cabbage, or you know, most people would do that. I needed something raw and something fresh because even though all of this was light. It still has that heavy feel to it. Um, the great thing is turkey digests so well for me. Those mashed potatoes were just, man. And, of course, no corn on the cob. So there was double starch on my plate today. But thank goodness for butter lettuce. But I could have done a cabbage or a green. You can do whatever side is you want to do. It just works better for me because I wanted something fresh on the plate. So. Guys, it's always a pleasure. You know what it is. Thank you so, 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 so much for joining me again today. If you guys have any suggestions, I'm trying to learn about my lighting. I'm almost there. I'm not quite there yet, but I'm almost there. So you guys, do your girl a favor. You know what it is. Comment. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that thumbs up. Slide on over, hit that notification bell, dee 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 dee, so you can know next time Latanya comes on Tasty LB with a new video for you. So guys, it's always a pleasure. If you have any suggestions for me about the lighting, definitely, definitely put them down below in the comments. I appreciate you guys so much. It's always a pleasure, Tasty Tasties. Until next time.